this is my data center here and in this data center i have two nodes available for the proxmox virtual environment these are part of the cluster and i have explained in the clustering section of this particular course first of all let us understand what is networking inside pve if i click on the local network so you will see here that this is available on pve which is vmbr1 and vmbr0 so i will talk about the naming conventions also here so let me click here on the pve and it will open all the settings related to the proxmox virtual environment or PVE node and here on the left side you can see here various details are available here and under the system you will click here on the network and you will see all these network interfaces are available let me talk about the physical network interfaces now you can see here that network type is network device here and this is Linux bridge this Linux bridge is similar to the virtual switch or physical switch so in physical switch you are connecting multiple cables multiple devices similarly the virtual bridge is the linux bridge which is called vmbr and it is named with vmbr0 vmbr1 and so on you can create up to 4094 network bridges here and you can of course have multiple number of network cards this represents the physical network cards and how you can understand that these are the physical network cards so the naming convention for the network cards starts with en in earlier versions of proxmox virtual environment 5.0 and earlier for ethernet first three letters were called eth but now these first two letters are en which is ethernet and this one represents the port port number is two or port number is three and this represents the slot slot is zero so en represents the ethernet here and p represents the pci if it is eno see eno means the ethernet on board and ENP means the Ethernet on the PCI. So PCI slot is having the network interface. So you will see this as an ENP. These are USB also. So you will see it instead of P, you will see it as a U, depending upon what type of network interface is connected to your Proxmox virtual environment. So in my case, it is ENP, which is Ethernet on PCI slot. Two means the card number, S means the slot and slot is zero right now. In some of the cases, you might have more numbers here, which will represent the bus number also. And if you see here that these are two bridges connected, when you install the Proxmox virtual environment, it will automatically create the virtual bridge and it will link that virtual bridge to one of the network interface cards. So this bridge port is the physical port. In fact, as you can see here, it is ethernet on PCI number three and slot is zero. So this way you are able to connect your virtual bridge or you're able to map your virtual bridge to the physical port. And then you can give the IP address of the Proxmox VE. This is the IP address of Proxmox VE. In case you want to have multiple interfaces, now suppose this interface is right now connected 192.168.240 because I will be having the internal networking for this and I'll be naming it to slash 24 and here a default gateway I don't need to use it because there is already one gateway so I can use this as my network so I can click on apply configuration uh, in case it doesn't apply it might ask you to install the IEF up down to if you have installed the Proxmox virtual environment manually now you can see here that these are the two IP addresses which are assigned to the VMBR1 and VMBR0. You don't need to assign the IP address to the physical network card. If you assign it to physical network card, it will not make any sense because the physical network card is already bridged. Now, in case you have multiple physical cards and you want to bond them together to make sure that you get a better performance and better throughput, you can create a bond here also, which will be OVS bond right now i'm not looking for it my interface is connected to the vmbr0 and vmbr1 this has the two vmbrs in fact i can create multiple also i can create one more vmbr and i can keep it private how these work i will explain you with the help of a diagram you will be able to connect with any of the vm and this is here vmbr0 and the ip address of this 192.168.100.2 if i assign the vmbr0 to this particular machine it must have the ip address uh, 192.168.100. anything that should be able to communicate with that particular network the subnet should be of course 24 and here also it has the subnet of 24 and if i talk about the connectivity of this so this is the physical network card which is here on this particular network which is connected and this is the second network card i have created vmbr1 
if I don't define anything here in VMBR1, if I remove this particular network, it means that VMBR1 won't be able to communicate with any external network because there is no bridge defined here. It is not defined that this Linux bridge is connecting to the external network with the help of which network interface card. If the network interface card is not connected here, of course, it won't be able to communicate. So this shows a disconnect between this. But I'll show you the scenario how I'm going to create the network for these two servers. And this is the internet here. I'll just mention here, I have another Wi-Fi router and all my physical network is connected here. VMBR1 is connected here and my physical network is connected here. And right now, one of the ports from this particular network is also connected to this network. So this is how my current configuration is. And here are my all physical computers. So this is the Wi-Fi also, and this also is working as a switch. And this is also connected here. Now, what I'm planning here that I'm also planning to put one network cable, and this one is also working as a DHCP server and all my devices are getting the IP address from here. And if I create bridge between this particular network and here, so how I'll do that, I'll just go here. So I'll be connecting this physical port here and I'll bridge the port here. Apply this, this connection is established. This is VMBR0 and this is VMBR1. Right now my physical connection is also in the same way. So if I move my VM to this virtual network, which is VMBR1, so it will get the IP address from this particular DHCP server. This is also the DHCP server here. Router is connected to the internet. And this is having the IP address 192.168.100.1. And with the help of DHCP server, it is giving the IP address to all the computers which are connected here. And this is also getting the IP address uh, from here, which is from the DHCP server. So right now, VMBR0 is VMBR1. And this is how the network looks like here in the web user interface. And if I open this same network settings in the command line interface, so I'll go here into shell, type the command nano, which is to edit the configuration in case you want to edit, slash etc, slash network, slash interfaces. So all the network interfaces will be available here. Just now that we have created VMBR0, another is VMBR1. And VMBR0 has the IP address of 192.168.100.2. And this has the IP address of 192.168.240.2. Of course, this 240.2 is not available here, but I want to create a machine here that will be working as a DHCP server and it will give the IP address not only to these virtual machines, but also to external machines. I will disable the DHCP server of this router, which is here. So it will only work as the switch and Wi Fi access point but it will not be working as a gateway, as a router, as a firewall, or as a DNS server. So we have to disable the DHCP of this server that I'll be doing it later. Right now, the machine is not there. There is no machine right now. No VM is created. We'll create that VM also. And particular VMBR1 is having the IP address of 192.168.240.2. And right now, this is of course not able to communicate. If I try to ping this, 192.168.240.2 nothing will work here so there is no network communication taking place between this network and this network i am on this network so i am able to ping 192.168.31.1 which is working fine right now and because i'm already connected on this network but this proxmox is having the ip address configured but it is not of course communicate so i'll be installing one vm here and this vm will work as a router as a firewall so i'll be installing the pfsense this will become my dhcp server pfsense ip address will be 192.168.100.4 because i have 100.1 for this 100.2 for this particular server 100.3 is already for another proxmox node and 100.4 i'll be using for the pfsense which will work as a firewall and as a network router for my other vms also and other network devices also to protect not only my virtual machines but also to protect my physical network i won't be connecting this network here it will not have any ip address so this will not have any dhcp i'll disable the dhcp of this server also i'll show you that once i'll be doing it. so in case you want to see the settings also here in the network interfaces you can see here that these are the two virtual bridges this is the bridge to the port enp3 s0 and this is connected to enp2 s0 in case you want to write any note here, for example, this is virtual switch. 
configuration for internal network and i'll be using this virtual switch configuration for external network which will be of course internet and this will be for for my home network and for virtual machine i'll just save it this did not show you the masquerading in case you are using masquerading to do the natting for example if i go here nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces masquerading can be added here down at the end of this which will contain the ip tables also i'll show you in the advanced video that how we can add the masquerading in next video i'll show you networking using the pfsense